Why do some governments try to downplay or cover up pandemics in their early stages? While no government wants there to be a pandemic, and would certainly prefer hopes for it to just go away, it can only downplay it for a short time before it overwhelms the population and they must address it from a significantly weaker position than if they acted decisively at the beginning. In the smartphone era, information propagates instantly through informal networks Facebook, WeChat, Stack Exchange, etc. and is difficult to suppress. After witnessing the COVID epidemic in Asia and Europe, why did Western Hemisphere leaders downplay pandemics threat instead of acknowledging the problem and communicating what will be done to reverse the issue? What is the political incentive to deferring acknowledgement and action? In hindsight it's clear that many governments should have taken the risk of a COVID-19 pandemic much more seriously, but it's not that easy to anticipate the reach and intensity of the epidemic before it happens. There have been other serious threats before for which the containment strategy proved sufficient, and if a government allocates resources for instance massive purchases of masks and ventilators which end up wasted they are going to be criticized as well. This article in The Guardian argues that most European countries were not as well prepared as some Asian countries because there was no recent experience of a serious epidemic in the country, causing leaders to subconsciously underestimate the seriousness of the threat. There is a potential political cost for a government if they invest resources by precaution and the risk doesn't materialize. The challenge faced by government is whether and when to act on a health threat. If you act swiftly and the outbreak isn't as bad as feared, then government gets criticized for overreacting. If you adopt a wait-and-see approach and move too slowly, then government gets criticized for underreacting, says Steve Taylor, professor at the University of British Columbia and author of The Psychology of Pandemics. As an example, during the 2009 H1N1 flu pandemic, Rosaline Bachelet was Minister of Health in the French government. She purchased 94 million vaccines, but only a small proportion turned out to be actually used. As a result she was widely criticized for wasting public money. I assume that there are other examples of this kind, where a politician loses some political points because they made a safe but costly decision. It seems that when an epidemic threat presents itself a government must make a call between taking the threat seriously and therefore mobilizing important resources for an overall unlikely epidemic crisis, with a high risk to appear as overreacting and wasting public money. Taking minimal conservative measures, which is unlikely to be sufficient if the crisis materializes. However this will likely appear as the normal choice to make, since nobody could objectively have anticipated the intensity of the crisis. Note, this answer is made of recycled material from a closed question of mine. 